Hi guys, welcome to the channel, general love reading for my friends Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for August 2021. As always, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, we are going for a Celtic cross. Let's see what we can get for you. Let's start with a couple of Oracle cards. Let's see. cards healthy choices making healthy choices in love and in life self-love self-care being happier addiction quite the opposite codependent obsession possession controlling as a block restraint bottom of the deck we have engagement ring engagement partnership commitment eternity completion union well two mindsets that can work in two different ways when it comes to commitment let's say so let's see what the tarot has to say about these energies And we are ready. So, current situation, Ace of Swords. The challenge, Eight of Pentacles. Crowning energy, Ten of Cups. Core of the situation, Two of Swords. Past energies, Ten of Pentacles. Future energies, Page of Cups. Approach to the situation, Wheel of Fortune. Energies around you, Page of Swords. Hopes and fears, Two of Cups. Possible outcome. Queen of Pentacles, and we have the Knight, bottom of the deck. So it seems a token, a gesture, that can be extremely promising. Because we have energies that are clear, trustworthy and productive enough in order for a connection to be successful. Addiction on an energy level can be about lessons of the past, lessons that can be learned along the journey, because we have the Wheel of Fortune involved in the approach to the situation, and this can be an encouragement to make the best out of the learning curve that the uh, life adventure offers in favor of all of us and this can be an opportunity to be together with a special person so the knight of pentacles slow energy we can agree but we also know that the knight will power through the finish line even if it may take a little bit more time than the other knights we have the goal extremely clear in our mind and in our heart because of the fact that we have the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles involved plus the two of cups in the hopes and fears but this is clearly a hope in favor of a love connection we have a choice to make that can be about the fact that there is the chance to embrace a token that can bring an ongoing connection to a higher level and there is also the scenario about two persons that can decide to be together because maybe there is a common vision that can be manifested properly and so guys the ace of swords is about truth and clarity coming from within first and foremost but then something that can be shared with a special person we can talk about all the important factors that can allow two persons to build something that can be a source of satisfaction and fulfillment. This can be quite a conversation that can allow some of you and some of your persons to figure out the best possible way to build the foundations of your connection. Because the Eight of Pentacles is a 
productive and industrious energy and it tells us the story of this man that owns his craft and knows what it takes to bring to life the pentacles that are the source for his satisfaction, fulfillment and success. This is a mentality, dedication, determination, the willingness to put in the work and the effort in order to be successful, uh, the attention to the details, even the smaller ones that can make the difference. This can even be the approach that the Knight of Pentacles is uh, able to uh, display and that's why this approach if it is channeled by one of you can resonate quite a lot with the queen of pentacles in the uh, possible outcome that can be the mindset of the other person that's why this is a connection that can work because maybe the two of you have understood that along the journey we may face we may encounter circumstances that can go with the addiction card meaning that are not healthy enough they are not deserving of time effort and loving energies but on the other hand we can also encounter opportunities that can offer in our favor the chance to make healthy choices in order to build for the future in a stable way this is one of those situations that's why crowning energy we have the ten of cups which is about uh, fulfillment of the heart that's why the two of cups uh, is purely a hope about love the ten of cups is a partnership built on solid foundations it goes with the ten of pentacles even if in slightly different fashion but it's also a partnership blessed with qualities like um, trust, fairness, balance, respect, reciprocal support and understanding, qualities that we can find even in the Two of Cups of course, but this is also an encouragement because the Ten of Cups for me is the type of partnership that can allow two persons to find courage uh, from within the partnership because we know that life is not just about rainbows and unicorns there are challenges and the opportunity to rely on a partnership that vibes in a ten of cups way can be a source of encouragement in order to power through the challenges and the adversities this can be about a common vision that the two of you can share and this is a big chance in order to work together in order to manifest this wish because it is a wish it is a desire coming from the heart the two of swords in the core of the situation guys it's the decision um, if there is an evaluation to bring an ongoing connection to a higher level of commitment there is a choice to make if two persons decide to be together there is a choice to make it's a quiet moment in order to think uh, things straight the lady is trying to get in touch with her intuition the moon in the background grants the proper depth to the evaluation and this is about realizing how to put in the work how to follow the steps that can guide uh, two persons towards a reciprocal satisfaction the ten of pentacles in the past guys this can be about the type of potential that can be associated to this interaction because some of you are already with a special person maybe there is the desire to bring the connection to a higher level the ten of pentacles can be the type of realization that has allowed uh, some of you with your person to uh, notice that you can truly go the distance because the ten of pentacles is about legacy long term the opportunity to build a family from the ground up the opportunity to provide for the needs that are involved in this auspicious uh, family picture for others of you maybe with the chance to be together with a new partner this can be something that you were hoping to manifest this can be a goal that is extremely important for you maybe you were looking for a chance like this one uh, even before and now somehow some way there is the opportunity to manifest it because after all regardless of the fact that uh, the knight of pentacles is um, a male figure and the queen of pentacles is a female um, 
this can be two energies that you and your person were already able to manifest and that's why you were looking for something that was reliable enough to justify uh, your effort, your time and your loving energies. And there is no rush within the Knight of Pentacles energy and also within the Queen of Pentacles. We are evaluating the circumstances in order to figure out if they are in favor of something that can be nurtured in a healthy way. Absolutely. The Page of Cups, guys, sweet act of kindness and love. Well, there is love in this flow of energies and this can be the token that can allow you to um, ignite the process that can bring the connection to the higher level. If you are already together, this can be the type of exchange that can convince the two of you to take the next step. And if you want to be together, so if this is a matter of a brand new uh, partnership, this is a sweet gesture that can uh, truly be the ignition in favor of the new connection. The Wheel of Fortune in the approach to the situation is an encouragement to embrace the flow of the events. First and foremost, the Wheel is about fate and destiny. It's an energy that cannot be rushed. It takes its own time. That's why we say uh, divine timing at play. It's about life cycles and life chapters. They come with major lessons, kind of like the word. This is an encouragement. It's about uh, growing by going through the experiences and kind of embracing the learning curve that is about the journey as we were uh, sharing. This can also be a lucky break, a lucky turn of the events in favor of um, a connection that can be extremely promising. Again, guys, the journey may have offered to some of you or some of your persons previous experiences that were not a source of satisfaction, but you have learned your lessons and now there can be the chance to make these lessons count in order to be successful. The page of swords in the energies around you guys. An interaction, simple but meaningful, because as I usually say, the pages can be awkward and goofy, but they are deserving of attention because they may have something important to say, to share or to offer. If you are already together and you are considering the opportunity to bring the connection to a higher level, uh, the Ace of Swords is the meaningful energy that can allow the two of you to uh, talk with each other in order to figure things out. But on the other hand, if you are trying to be with a new person, the Page of Swords is a little bit more meaningful because there is a touch of awkwardness involved in order to uh, present the token that can allow some of you and some of your new persons to be together. It's a slightly different level of comfort, allow me to say. If two persons are already together, the level of comfort is higher. And on the other hand, if two persons are trying to become a couple, um, maybe there is a touch of shyness that is still involved, a little bit of um, blushing and so forth. And so these two pages kind of work in that way. But there is love because in the hopes and fears position, but there is no fear uh, thanks to the higher level of vibrations that we can associate to the Two of Cups. This is a desire to manifest a love partnership that can be a fulfilling one, a healthy one, a fair one. And for me, the Two of Cups is the chance to grow together with a special person. And this is kind of the point. We are looking at a scenario that can be recognized as a meaningful opportunity to build for the future and to grow with a person that we have uh, managed to uh, recognize as a fair companion, as I usually say. There can be a lot of love, there can be a lot of potential in favor of this partnership. And I love to see the Ace of Swords because it is about honesty, transparency, trust, uh, sharing together all the aspects that can play a role in order for a connection to be 
to be successful, despite the fact that it may be already ongoing or it can be embraced as a brand new chapter. Possible outcome, guys, we have the Queen of Pentacles, uh, lovely, lovely energy. The Queen is perceived as a beautiful human being that can be a source of advices, uh, words of encouragement and even practical support matching energies uh, depending on uh, which can be the one that uh, you resonate with the most but the queen has mastered the self-love ability and that's why she can recognize the chance that is the most deserving of her nurturing and caring energies She is willing to uh, bring the Ace of Pentacles to the table, same as the Knight. And this is a common mindset that can truly make the difference. Especially if, along the journey, the experiences have allowed the two of you guys to learn quite a lot. Maybe challenging connections were part of the journey, but you have managed to overcome the uh, situations. You have learned and you have started some time ago let's say to make the uh, best possible choices in order to set the conditions i would say um, for you to embrace a connection like this one so if it is a partnership already ongoing there is the potential to bring it to a higher level if it is a brand new connection it can be a lucky one quite a source of satisfaction maybe compared with previous uh, situations so guys let's see where these energies are going i hope that i made myself clear and this was helpful i'll continue on vimeo I'll see you there if you want to join me the link is below if you resonate let us know leave a comment like share and subscribe to the channel until next time i wish you all the best guys take very good care of you and i will talk to you soon bye